Well, hello and welcome to Tuesday Time with Pastor Emily. It's so good to be with you here today. I know we can't be together in person and I really wish we could. I miss seeing you. But this is so great to still be together and to be connected together and to know that God is with us. God is with me. God is with you in this place right now. So as we begin, uh, we always begin with our Tuesday time with Pastor Emily. Uh, we are going to light a candle. And we light a candle as a reminder that God loves us, that God created us beautifully and wonderfully just the way we are, that God created us in God's image, that God's light shines in and through us wherever we go and that God is with us right now in this time and in this place. So let's go ahead and light our candle, remembering God is here with us. And as we light this candle, we're going to do our candle ritual that we always do together. So join with me. God's holy light surrounds us. Only good can come in. Only good can go out. Amen. So we will put our candle. It's a reminder that the light of God is with us right now in this place. So we're going to go ahead and read a story. Again, from the Children of God storybook, which is uh, their um, biblical stories rewritten by Archbishop Desmond Tutu was also a Nobel Peace, uh, Peace Prize winner. And if you don't know who Desmond Tutu is, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, it might be an opportunity sometime this week to um, look up who he is and talk about what he's done and who he, who he is. It'd be a great time to learn about him. So we've heard the last several weeks about how Jesus ascended into heaven and then the Holy Spirit was sent upon the disciples of Jesus and the, the followers of Jesus to help and guide the disciples as they proclaim the good news of God's love to the world. And so we learn more and more about how the early followers of Jesus, the early church, uh, did this, how they spread the good news of God's love. And we learn more about some of these new, um, these early disciples. And so we're going to learn about today one of these early followers of Jesus, um, one of the early church leaders. His name was Paul. And the story we are going to read is called God Calls a New Leader. Paul Follows Jesus. And this is based on the book of Acts in our New Testament, in our Bible, and it's based on chapter 9. The temple leaders were jealous of all the people following Jesus. They had many put into jail. They arrested and put many people into jail who were following Jesus and spreading God's good news. Some were even killed. The believers of Jesus were especially afraid of one man. His name was Saul. One day, Saul was on his way to arrest Jesus' followers in Damascus, a town called Damascus. But suddenly, Saul fell to the ground, blinded by a brilliant light. Saul heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you attacking me? It was Jesus speaking to Saul. For three days, Saul was blind and did not eat or drink. On the fourth day, he had a change of heart. His heart changed. 
Now he believed that Jesus was indeed the Son of God. Saul was baptized. He changed his name from Saul to Paul. He wrote many letters to encourage the new churches in distant lands. And we know about those letters because we read them in our Bible. Lots of those letters, if we hear 1 Corinthians or Philippians or Galatians, those were all letters that were written to churches by Paul, who was once named Saul. Many people asked Paul questions, including what was most important to God. Paul answered, faith, hope, and love. Can you say that with me? Faith, hope, and love. But, Paul said, the greatest of these is love. But what is love, they asked. Paul answered them, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It rejoices not in wrongdoing, but in truth and justice and forgiveness. Word of God for the people of God. Join with me to say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So this story is really important in a lot of ways. Paul, who was once named Saul, was jealous of the followers of Jesus and he was mean to them, and he was nasty to them, and he was violent against them. He was arresting them and treating them terribly. He was treating them unequally. But then God called Paul, well, once named Saul, with a great light. And his heart changed. And he ended up asking God forgive, for forgiveness and constantly working on himself to make sure that he treated others better. He knew that he had a lot of things that he did wrong in his past, but he chose for, to ask for forgiveness and to try to do what he could to make those wrongs right and to then choose love and to spread God's love to the world. We all make mistakes. We all have our setbacks. None of us is perfect. Like Saul, who then was named Paul, we have our past. And God loves us still. And like with, with Saul, and then turned into Paul, God continues to call on us to say that we are beloved and that if we ask for forgiveness, that God forgives us. And that God calls us to choose love and justice and goodness. What good news is that? Let's go ahead and pray. I will say the Lord be with you and then repeat after me saying, 
and also with you, okay? So I'm gonna say, the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Let's take a deep breath in. Breathe out slowly. And take a deep breath in. And breathe out slowly. You might place your hands as we continue to breathe in slowly on your lap or by your sides. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out slowly. You might roll your shoulders back. Try to get comfortable. Roll your head. Take a deep breath in. And this time, imagine filling your lungs with the love of God. And as you breathe out, Breathe out all the things that are upsetting you and bothering you and worrying you today on to God because God cares for you. Let's do that again. Breathe in the love of God. And breathe out all the things that are bothering you right now. Lay them at the feet of God because God cares for you. Let's breathe in one more time. Dear God, thank you for loving each and every one of us so much. Thank you that you call on our lives, you call on us even when we make mistakes. Forgive us for our mistakes, especially when we are, have done something to hurt someone else, whether we mean to or not. Help us to have faith in you, to have hope that you are with us and that you hope for love and peace and justice in this world. And especially help us to know we are loved and to share your love with others. In your loving name, amen. So now we're going to sing a song together, and it's called Siya Hamba. If you can repeat after me, Siya Hamba, Siya Hamba. It is a, a, a South African song and hymn that is in, we're going to sing it in three different languages. We're going to sing it in English, which it means we are marching in the light of God. So, you know how we have our, our light, our candle, and how we heard about Paul, Saul, who was once named Saul, uh, that God came upon Saul with light and brought light onto Saul and transformed Saul's heart. Uh, we all can march in the light of God. And that's what we're going to be singing today. So we're going to sing marching in the light of God in English, in Zulu, which is um, Sia Hamba Kuken Yen Quencos. And then we're also going to sing in Spanish, Caminando en la Luz de Dios. It all means we are marching in the light of God. And so I'm going to teach you the, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have you repeat after me so you can hear the, the languages and learn the languages, and then we're going to sing it together. So the first part is going to be, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. Okay. Then the second language is going to be, Siya Hamba. Siya Hamba. Kuken Yen. Repeat after me. Kuken Yen. Quen Kos, Quen Kos, Siya Hamba, Siya Hamba, Kuken Yen, Kuken Yen, 
when close. So let's say that all together. It's all that's the the uh, verse in Zulu. So siahamba, siahamba, kukenyen quen kos, kukenyen quen kos, siahamba kukenyen quen kos, siahamba kukenyen quen kos. And then in Spanish, it's going to be caminando, caminando, en la luz, en la luz, de Dios, de Dios, caminando en la luz, caminando en la luz, de Dios, de Dios. So let's say that all together in, in Spanish. Caminando en la luz de Dios. 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 So we're going to sing it in English, then in Zulu, then in Spanish, in English one more time, and then the last time we're going to sing it, and I'm actually going to be leading the first four times, but then the last time we're going to sing it in Zulu again, the Siahamba Kukenyen Quen Kos. And that last time, you'll get to be led by a bunch of youth from our youth group, the Edgewater Congregations Together Youth Group, as well as from other youth in the Edgewater Youth Coalition. There are 6th through 12th graders who went on a um, mission service and learning trip last summer. And so this is part of when they led this song um, for the church that they sang at, um, that we stayed at last summer that hosted us. And we have permission from all of the youth uh, to share this video. So join with me. Let's stand up and you can clap with me and dance and march if you'd like. We are marching. We are marching in the light of God. 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 Light of God. We are marching. We are marching. Oh, we are marching in the light of God. Light of God. We are marching. We are marching. Oh, we are marching in the light of God. See a humba. See a humba who can yen quen kos. 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 See a humba. See a humba. Oh, see a humba who can yen quen kos. Yen quen kos. See a humba. See a humba. Oh, see a humba who can yen quen kos. Caminando. Caminando in the luz de Dios. Caminando in the luz de Dios. Caminando.
joining with me for our Tuesday time with Pastor Emily. And we're going to go ahead and end our time like we always do with our uh, closing candle ritual to remind us that we take our light with uh, the light of God with us wherever we go. So let's say it together. God's holy light surrounds us. Only good can come in. Only good can go out. We take this light with us wherever we go. You are a beloved child of God, made in God's image beautifully and wonderfully, just the way you are. Amen.